All right, guys, welcome to another day at Two Eagles Garage here. I've got a bit of an experiment going on this week. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, and I've heard a lot of people talk about using vinegar, mainly apple cider vinegar for rust removal, and I've heard people talk about using white distilled vinegar for rust removal. Now, I've used the apple cider vinegar on my generator I've got in the shop. It actually eat the rust and any coating out of that tank before I was before I was finished with it. And then all I had to do was recoat it. So I've got a bit of timing chain here. I found this timing chain laying in the dirt somewhere while I was picking up junk. Nothing's been done to it, nothing's been sprayed on it. It's just a rusty piece of timing chain that was pulled up out of the dirt. I've got apple cider vinegar. I've got white distilled vinegar. I've got a mason jar labeled with a W and an A, apple and white. We're gonna put these two chains in here and we're gonna let them sit soaked in each one of these vinegars and see which one does best. Now this is not comparing to all other rust removers. This is just comparing vinegar versus vinegar. And then maybe later on we can do another experiment depending on which one of these works best to see what else it works against. Obviously it wouldn't be a fair bet against something like acid or electrolysis. This is a way for you to sit on your butt and do nothing while the rust removal process works. It's, it works fairly quick. I think the tank on my generator took three or four days. What I will do is I will post a short video every two to three days to see how it does. And I'll be taking the jars every two to three days and kind of swishing them. And that'll get all the surface gunk off the surface where the vinegar has bubbled it up and allow it to eat at the new stuff that's up under it. That'll make it a lot better. You know, nothing's been done to it. That's just where I hammered it down to make it fit flat in the jars. And I'll show you both pieces of it. You know, that's what it looks like. And this is just the cheapest vinegar I can get a hold of. Just whatever I could buy cheapest at the grocery store. So, uh, stick with us, guys. We're going to see what this does. And I'm going to be reporting back to you every couple days on the process. Thank you, guys. If you're interested in more stuff, please hit that like and subscribe. And uh, if you don't subscribe, at least hit the like button. You know, it helps my channel out. It helps YouTube out. You know, help help me out. Help me build my channel up into something that I can reach more people with. You know, if you like my stuff, subscribe by all means. The more people, the better. All right, guys, we're going to start with the apple vinegar, apple cider vinegar first. And this is apple cider vinegar. We are going to take our chain and drop it into the jar very carefully, not to break the jar. See it's in the bottom of the jar. We're going to take this apple cider vinegar and pour maybe a little less than half a jar. Probably just enough to cover it. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had a phone call. Let's get back to where we were. First chain. Apple cider vinegar. These bottles are just being opened. I've never opened them. Ooh, and it smells right too. I want to smell it. Want to smell? That's some strong stuff. We're going to pour it just over the chain, guys. We want the chain submerged in it. Let's see. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, we'll give it about that much. That'd be good. Did that too. All right, guys, and remember this one is marked with an A for apple. That one is sitting there ready to go. And we'll give it a few days in the good stuff. Now, this chain barely moves. I mean, it took beating it with a hammer to get it to being like that. So we're going to see how well it does. Because, I mean... Like it moves a little bit in some areas, but for the most part, it's froze up. So we're going to put this one down in here, too. 
And the reason I beat on them with a hammer is because I wanted them to lay flat in the bottom of the jars. I didn't want them to be sitting up too far because I wanted the vinegar to get all over them as much as they possibly could. And that's about as close as we're going to get that to the bottom. It's up a little bit, but not bad. We'll pour the white distilled vinegar over it. And we'll do a good old smell test on this one too. That one's not as bad. That one's way stronger. The apple cider's way stronger smelling. Alrighty. Let's see here. We'll give that one just a little more because that chain is up off the bottom a little bit. Alright guys, let me look at this here real quick. Yeah, I might have poured a little much in that one, but it'd be alright. About the same, I guess. Now, keep in mind, both of these will get darker as they age. So, you can always pour them back in the jars and reuse them. I have a whole gallon in the shop that is just reused from my fuel tank. I bought new bottles just for the purposes of this experiment. And then we'll close this one off. That one's got a W on it for white vinegar. And then there's your experiment, guys. Two bottles, two pieces of chain. Let's hear down in the comments which one y'all think is gonna come out better looking. You think it's gonna be the apple cider vinegar? Or the white distilled vinegar. Which one do you think out think's gonna come out cleaner? You know, I can already see some bubbles on it. Especially on this one. Some of it's just trapped air, but I can see it kind of bubbling up on the surface. And we'll put the date on the top of here too. Let's see here. What's today's date? Today is May the 24th. So we'll do... 5 24 of 22 and I'll put that on both of them alright guys we'll give y'all a shot of the dates Five, 24 22 and we will come back to you guys in a few days and let you know how this experiment's going. We're going to set them let here, let them sit here and marinate for a little while. And once again, guys, let's hear some comments. I want to see which one people think is going to do better. I want to see who thinks the A is going to do better and who thinks W is going to do better. And after this experiment, guys, I may build an electrolysis setup. And we'll try and see how well electrolysis does versus the acid. We'll do another versus test. If you guys say, let's say, give me, I don't know how many likes you guys think we should do. Give me 15 likes. We'll do another experiment like this. We'll set up another one. Because I've always got rusted junk around. I haul scrap metal, so I've always got rusted junk. So you guys give me your thoughts, and uh, let's get those likes up there and see if we can do another experiment, guys. Thank you for spending another day here with us at Two Eagles Garage, and you'll see another video here in a couple of days.